good morning children welcome to online class history class so which lesson is going on from the civics part you know very very well i think so uh, central government lesson is going on is it children yes so nearly two days classes over this is the third day okay so what are the things we learned already from this lesson once we can recollect afterwards we can enter into the today's class okay so under the 2.1 what is given in the sense uh, president of india is yes, regarding the president of india i explained i think so previously central government has divided uh, so it has consisted three branches okay executive power yes uh, legislative power as well as judiciary power like that i explained executive under that uh, you know president of president of india vice president of india then prime minister and council of ministers are there like that i told then central government you know that legislature a yes, central government's legislature is otherwise known as parliament like that i told is it a parliament has consisted two houses is it uh, Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha? Yes, Rajya Sabha has consisted 250 members, 250. Okay, so Lok Sabha has consisted 545 members. 545 members are there. Yes, out of 250 members, you know, 250 members, yes, uh, 238 members elected by the state assemblies like that I told. Remaining 12 of them, you know, uh, they were appointed by the president like that i told is it children yes so then uh, if you take lok sabha 545 members are there out of that 543 members you know elected by the people we are electing yes our representatives we are electing yes then uh, remaining two of them you know uh, nominated by the president yes remaining two of them nominated by the president like that i said is it children yes then uh, you know that under that part of judiciary so i am going to explain the part uh, judiciary part today okay judiciary in the sense of supreme court of india is yes, supreme court of india is a guardian of our indian constitution okay so under the supreme court uh, who are there in the sense of chief justice of india then uh, 27 judges are there other judges 27 judges are there remind regarding them you know we are i am going to explain today okay then you know under the 2.1 uh, president of india regarding that personality also we learned then vice president we learned is it a vice president it's a he is the ex sub issue chairperson of rajya sabha like that i said i think so then uh, regarding the prime minister yes regarding the prime minister council of ministers uh, then uh, moreover i told um, you know categories of the ministers cabinet ministers uh, state ministers and deputy ministers like that also i explained yes their powers everything i explained then you know finally regarding the parliament i explained i think so children parliament has consisted of two houses rajya sabha and lok sabha rajya sabha how it is considering in the sense that's a council of states like that they are telling at the same time lok sabha that is the house of people house of people yes so these are the things and i explained moreover regarding the money bill i explained i think so money bill you know which can be passed only in the lok sabha yes so lok sabha that's a question is there children okay then uh, then remaining you know uh, yeah from the from tamil nadu yes from tamil nadu how many members are there uh, in the parliament in the sense uh, in the rajya sabha yes uh, rajya sabha how many members are there from tamil nadu in the sense uh, 18 members like that i said 18 one eight yes uh, then in lok sabha from tamil nadu 39 members are there like that also in the last class i said i think so then uh, regarding speaker also i explained regarding the speaker yes uh, lok sabha head the speaker okay then powers and functions of the parliament before that you know uh, parliamentary session also i explained the budget session yes uh, monsoon session yes then winter session yes budget session in the sense february to may like that i told and uh, then uh, monsoon season in the sense uh, july july to september like that i said then winter season november to december like that also i explained i think so finally ex i uh, explained about the powers and functions of the parliament i think so is it nearly three points i explained i think so children that is the essay answer but that's very very uh, you know small answer only short answer only okay so today i am going to explain about the attorney general of india yes which page number in the sense page number 254 you can take it children page number 254 you can take it you know what is given under the attorney general of india he is the highest 
highest law officer in the country. Yes, he is the, law, he is the highest law officer in the country. Attorney General of India as per the constitution 76. Okay, so this is the one word answer. As per the constitution 76 of the Indian constitution provides Attorney General of India. Yes, Attorney General for India. Yes, so how uh, he is considering in the sense that he is the highest law officer yes highest law officer in the country yes so that's a, um, uh, that is very important children one word answer moreover you know president is appointing yes president is appointing attorney general of india yes then moreover uh, what is the qualification in the sense uh, this person you know you know that attorney general of india he must be a person who is qualified to be appointed as the appointed the judge of the supreme court okay he uh, you know he can become a, who attorney general of india he can be uh, he can become a uh, you know judge of the supreme court so that much he has the power okay so he is appointing by whom he is appointing by the president okay then moreover uh, you know he can remove from the office at any time okay so president only has the power to remove the attorney general of india from his post at any time okay then moreover uh, when he is uh, quit from the when he quit from the uh, post you know he has to his uh, he has to give his resignation letter to the president so that is given in the first para so what are the things are there in the sense article 76 only as per that uh, constitution article 76 you know it provided the post otherwise office of the attorney general for india then he is the highest officer highest law officer like that they are telling highest law officer moreover who is appointing attorney general of india president has the power to appoint okay attorney general of india then you know this person he must be a person who is qualified to be so he has the qualification so what is the qualification in the sense attorney general has the qualification to be a member of sorry to be a judge of the supreme court to be a judge of the supreme court then who can remove from uh, who can remove him from the post in the sense president yes president has the power yes a president has the power to remove him from the post like that they are telling then he may also quit his office by submitting his resignation so if he need to remove from his office uh, if he need to resign from the post in the sense he has to give the resignation letter to the president like that they are telling that is the first para okay so what are the duties are there what are the functions are there for the attorney general of india that is given is the first function what is that in the sense he has the right he has the power yes he can give the advice to the government of india upon the such legal matters but he has to consult with the president okay so which is referred to him by the president so he can give the he has the power to give the advice to the government of india that is the thing okay then uh, moreover one more power is there you know so uh, he has the right of audience what is meant by audience in the sense of plead plead in the sense you know he can you know uh, he can plead alarm. okay that is the mean he has the right to plead in all courts in the territory of india yes further he has the right to speak to take part in the proceedings proceedings in the sense meetings meetings of both the houses of the parliament so either rajya sabha otherwise lok sabha also he has the power to speak he has the power to speak okay he has the right to speak he has uh, uh, he has the right to you know to express his opinion in the both houses of the parliament like that they are telling or their joined sitting okay joined sitting time otherwise you know any committee of the parliament which he may be uh, named a member but without that uh, he has no voting right but he has the right to speak yes uh, speak his opinion in the houses of the parliament okay so that is the thing but he has no voting right he has no voting power okay so that's the thing then uh, attorney general of india enjoys all the privileges and immunities okay so immunities in the sense here it is given uh, one word is there page number 255 okay satta vila kalipu okay that is the meaning immunities he enjoys all the privileges and immunities that are available to the members of the 
parliament so uh, you, what are the powers or functions are there in the sense he can give the advice to the government of india number one upon the legal matters okay legal matters okay then second point you know attorney general of india has the right to plead okay has the right to plead in all the courts any courts also he can plead, he can be plead in the territory of india like that it is given then uh, third point what is that in the sense he has the right to speak okay and uh, take part in the meetings of the lok sabha is yes, uh, lok sabha as well as rajya sabha but he has no voting right like that they are telling he enjoys all the privileges okay and the immunities immunities in the sense just before i said satta vila kalipu okay that are available to a member of the parliament okay like a parliament members he has the power okay so that's a meaning the next one you know 2.6 what is given in the sense judiciary column okay judiciary you know very well the first day itself when i was teaching i told that uh, you know you know that uh, parliament sorry that were not parliament the central government uh, yes has consisted of three branches the first branch is known as executive power executive branch okay executive power it has then moreover legislative power then finally judiciary okay judiciary judiciary is the third organ of the government it plays very important role in protecting the rights and freedom of the citizens okay rights and freedom of the citizens the supreme court how they are considering in the sense it's a guardian of the one word answer children guardian of the constitution this is the one word answer supreme court is the guardian of the constitution so our judiciary our indian judiciary is autonomous what does mean by autonomous in the sense it's independent okay autonomous what is the meaning children independent independent from the legislative as well as the executive wing of the union as well as the state government okay so which is um, you know autonomous is a judiciary our judiciary is independent from the legislative as well as the executive wing of the union as well as state government okay the next line it is given an integrated judiciary is yes, integrated judiciary means single sorry an integrated judiciary means a single judiciary hierarchy what does mean by hierarchy in the sense that is a system single judiciary system for the whole country okay so which one supreme court that is a single judicial hierarchy hierarchy in the sense system okay system s y s t e m okay then judiciary plays very important role to is a uh, protect defensive in the sense to protect defensive what is the meaning protect the rights and freedom of the citizens so which one is protecting our um, you know that uh, freedom as well as the freedom of the citizen rights and freedom of the citizen in the sense of judiciary yes supreme court is the guardian of the constitution like that they are telling is it so it plays very important role in analyzing and interpreting the necessities of laws and the constitution so supreme court is the guardian of the constitution if anybody violate if any government violate the um, uh, you know provisions of um, you know constitution yes so who has the right to ask the supreme court has the right to ask against the person who violate the rules and regulations of constitution okay the next what is given in the sense children uh, in the do you know column okay in the do you know column what is given in the sense supreme court it is given the picture is given you can check it children in the supreme court picture is given then moreover the supreme court of india so which year it was you know it was it is located in new delhi okay it is located in new delhi it was inaugurated on january 28 1950 yes so i already i told i think so as per the uh, sorry as per the government act of government of india act of 1935 is fed the federal court was established federal court was established it is given see the federal court of india you know was established under the government of india act of 1935 okay so that that only you know it succeeded as a supreme court of india yes it is located in new delhi it was inaugurated on january yes january 20 8 january 28 19 1950 okay 
ओके जनवरी ट्वेंटी एट ओके चल रहा है यस दन कंपोजिशन ऑफ़ दी सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो हाउ मनी जज्जस आर देर यस अट्रसेंड हाउ मनी जज्जस आर देर इन द सेंस थर्टी फोर जज्जस आर देर ओके यस थर्टी फोर जज्जस आर देर एट प्रेजेंट ओके इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट देन बट यू नो इन द ईयर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी इट वाज इन only eight judges were there only eight judges were there in the supreme court that time yes it the supreme court in the year 1950 it has consisted eight judges including the chief justice okay but at present at present you know how many judges are including chief justice in the sense 34 judges are there okay including chief justice how many judges are there children one word answer children okay 34 judges are there okay so that only it is given in this para Okay, so just before I told, 34 judges are there, including Chief Justice at present. Okay, the next one, appointment of the judges. So, who uh, who has the power to appoint the Chief Justice as well as judges of the Supreme Court in the sense of President of India? Yes, President of India has the power to appoint the Chief Justice as well as judges of the Supreme Court. Okay, so that is given in this para. The next one, you know, the qualifications. Yes. So, what are the qualifications of the Supreme uh, Court judges? Okay, Supreme Court judges. So, they should be a uh, citizen of India. Supreme Court judges as well as the Chief Justice, everybody, you know, they should be a citizen of India. Then, moreover, you know, he should have, he or she should have worked as a judge of the High Court for at least. So, if they need to become a judge or Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, they must have these qualifications they must be work as a judge of the high court for at least five years okay then uh, third point it uh, deals about you know he should have worked as an advocate yes as an advocate work as an advocate of high court for at least 10 years so judge you know as a judge you know as a judge of the high court five years they have to work as a judge of the high court okay then as an advocate of high court you know how many years they have to work 10 years they should have the experience as a advocate of the high court okay so totally how many years they should have the experience in the high court in the sense they should have nearly 15 years experience in the high court then only they can be a they can become a member they can become a judge as well as chief justice of the supreme court okay yes the next one he is in the opinion of the president a distinguished jurist what does mean by distinguished jurist in the sense of highly qualified law professor yes otherwise in tamil we can tell satta vallunar okay he is in the opinion of the president a distinguished jurist you know that uh, he should have the you know, high qualification they need as a law professor. That's the meaning. Then only those members only, you know, can be a, can become a members of the, can be a judge of the Supreme Court. Okay, so that is the thing. The next what is given in the sense, uh, in your book it is given, page number 255 it is given, children. You can check it. It's very, very interesting. The constitution also provides for the appointment of judges of, to the Supreme Court on an ad hoc basis what does mean by ad hoc in the sense temporary basis also some judges are working as a sorry um, some judges are working in the supreme court yes so which is giving the permission in the sense the constitution permits that okay then uh, how many years till uh, how uh, you know how much years of age you know they can be work as a chief justice of the supreme court they can be work as a judges of the supreme court in the sense you know a age limit is there till 65 years of age only they can be work as a supreme court judge as well as the supreme court that just uh, you know chief justice okay then judges of the supreme court can resign okay so they can resign that is their interest okay when they are resigning resignation later they have to hand over to the president because president only appointing these persons is it so that's what i am telling okay so resignation letter they should be hand over to the president okay then the parliament also has the power to remove the judges okay so when the parliament can remove the judges in the sense when the impeachment 
okay during the time of the impeachment by using the impeachment provisions so impeachment in the sense the last class in dal i told i think so is it yes the last class is in dal i told many times impeachment what is the meaning is the charge of misconduct a charge of misconduct okay so that is the that is the impeachment okay so the parliament you know has the power to bring the impeachment is you know, over the chief justice as well as judges of the supreme court okay then uh, then what is given in the sense the supreme court has its uh, you know where it is located it's very very important children where it is located in new delhi yes then this is very important i am going to tell this point you know this is very important it may also sit any other place in india is yes, they can change the location of the supreme court is yes, that is in the hands of the chief justice of india with the approval of the president of india so it is in the chief has, uh, chief justice hand okay but he has to ask from the president of india like that they are telling yes actually here what is given in the sense that supreme court is uh, Uh, you know it's located otherwise it's situated in new delhi it may also sit in an, any other place in india but it's decided decided by the it should be decided by the chief justice of india but he has to consult with the president of president of india yes the next what is given in the sense already i told i think so when i was teaching the third lesson state government lesson is that time you know i told that powers and functions of the high court the same powers and functions only supreme court also have yes so what are the powers are there in the sense the powers and functions are there in the sense the first one original jurisdiction original jurisdiction the next one you know appellate jurisdiction yes next one appellate jurisdiction then third one advisory jurisdiction advisory jurisdiction the next one miscellaneous jurisdiction miscellaneous jurisdiction other functions okay that is the miscellaneous then the last one judicial review judicial review the first one i am going to explain children original jurisdiction yes original jurisdiction so it's very very interesting children the powers okay sorry the original jurisdiction that's the first and foremost power of the supreme court as well as high court okay the cases uh, if the cases are comes directly directly to the supreme court that is come under the original jurisdiction if the person files their files his case you know directly to the supreme court that is called as original jurisdiction okay so what are the types are there what are the types are there in the sense of three types are there so original jurisdiction in the sense a dispute a dispute in the sense fight otherwise conflict otherwise quarrel okay quarrel between the government of india and one or one or more states okay quarrel with the government of india dispute between uh, government of india and one or two one or more states that is the first situation the next one you know dispute between two or more states okay for water problem in karnataka as well as tamil nadu once upon a time they were fought you know so that is a dispute between that is under the original jurisdiction the next one you know the last one the writs are issued by the supreme court okay the writs is yes, a writs in the sense many writs are there habeas corpus mandamus uh, certiorari quo warranto is yes, such a prohibition so the, those writs you know who has the right to pass the pass the writs in the sense supreme court has the power to pass the writs so the writs are passed by the otherwise issued by the supreme court for the enforcement of the fundamental rights okay enforcement in the sense implementation okay implement amul paduthuvadil okay yes the so that's the thing the next one you know that appellate jurisdiction if the cases the original jurisdiction in the sense if the cases are directly comes into the supreme court in the sense that is called as original jurisdiction the next one appellate jurisdiction for example the person the particular person you know already uh, you know uh, the, the, the person you know uh, he went to supreme sorry high court okay he couldn't uh, you know accept the verdict of high court okay so the second time you know if he is filing if he is filing his case in the supreme court that is called as appellate jurisdiction appellate jurisdiction see the supreme court is the final appellate in the appellate court in the country is yes, regarding that appellate jurisdiction the supreme court hears 
appeals against the decision of high court what are the cases in civil cases criminal cases as well as the constitutional cases with the certificate but but the person has to produce the certificate okay he has to produce the certificates of the high court to the supreme court then only it will be fit to appeal then only the case you know can apply, appeal in the supreme court that is given here children yes so listen carefully children here yes uh, here what is given in the sense yeah civil criminal constitutional cases and all they can file in the you know on the supreme court but they have to get the certificate from the high court that it is fit to appeal then only it will be uh, you know they can be uh, apply otherwise they can be appeal in the supreme court yes such a case can be brought before the supreme court okay before the supreme court only if the high court certificate they have to certify is yes, high court has to give the certificate that the case invites a substantial of law what does mean by substantial of law in the sense as per the constitution we need more explanation okay law explanation we need is yes, rather than high court if they need more and more explanation about the particular case they can be appeal in the supreme court like that they are telling okay so that is the appellate jurisdiction for the appellate jurisdiction person that the person first itself the, he used to go to uh, high court okay high court verdict if he disliked in the sense second time okay second time he is appealing in the supreme court so that condition so that is the appellate jurisdiction if the person directly moves into the supreme court that is called as original jurisdiction second time if he is going yes in that is the appellate jurisdiction okay the next one what is given in the sense children advisory yes sorry yes so what is given in the sense uh, advisory jurisdiction what is meant by advisory jurisdiction advisory jurisdiction in the sense the constitution yes confers the constitution confers on the president power to president the power to refer the the power to refer to the supreme court any question of law what is the meaning in the sense the president so this one you know the third one the what is what is the meaning i am telling children the president has the right to ask the supreme court regarding the public importance regarding the public importance so what once again i am telling advisory jurisdiction what is the meaning in the sense advisory jurisdiction what is the meaning in the sense the president has the right to ask the supreme court regarding otherwise about the public importance okay so that's the thing children the next one you know next one miscellaneous jurisdiction miscellaneous jurisdiction what is meant by miscellaneous jurisdiction the sense the law is yes, the law declared by the supreme court is binding binding in the sense controlled is yes, so supreme court has the power to control all the courts within the territory of india is yes, all the, he has the power supreme court has the power to control high court subordinate court district court and other courts also okay so that's the thing children the next point what is given in the sense supreme court is authorized okay so they can be authorized to make rules yes rules for regulations generally the practice and procedure of the court court procedure the practices everything you know who has the right to regulate supreme court has the power to regulate the you know re regulate the practices and procedures of other courts okay so but they have to get the supreme court has to get the approval from the president okay the last one what is given you know judicial review judicial review yes so who has the power in the sense here supreme court has the power to tell the particular constitution particular article of the constitution okay so uh, uh, you know it is a unconstitutional otherwise null and void like that you know who has the power in the sense you know supreme court the power of the judiciary here it is given the power of the judiciary is uh, to declare the particular law as unconstitutional what is meant by unconstitutional in the sense null and void sellaadu okay so the because it is violating the 
constitution is it is called as judicial review the supreme court enjoys this power the supreme court of india has the individual review power with a regarding to is yes, a regarding to three things is yes, what are the things are the four things what are the things are there in the sense of dispute between central and state yes the uh, supreme court has the power to tell so the particular uh, particular decision you know that's a null and void because it was uh, it is uh, violating the rules and regulations of the constitution like that who has the power to tell supreme court the next one to interpret and uh, clarify the provisions of the constitution about which there are some doubts and uh, differences of opinion when the doubts comes when the differences of comes it in the sense supreme court has the power to clarify that okay so clarify that that's the thing then protecting the uh, fundamental rights so it is protecting supreme court is the guardian of the indian constitution like that i told i think so okay it is protecting the fundamental rights of the people the last one those are you know the uh, what are the things are there yes fourth one you know those laws okay those laws passed by the legislature which are not in accordance with the constitution okay so these are the things are there children you can check your book if you have the doubt during the time of the interaction also you can ask okay so we can mark the question answers children so this class you know regarding the attorney general of india as well as the supreme court yes regarding that you know we learned his essays are there as well as two marks also there children we can mark the question answers take your book page number 257 yes 257 children the first one the first one is president first one is president second one speaker of lok sabha second one speaker of lok sabha third one lok sabha third one lok sabha then fourth one fourth one 25 years 25 years 25 years next one fifth one parliament parliament not a president children parliament parliament is the answer sorry parliament will come the fifth one fifth one not a president children parliament is the answer parliament is the answer fifth one okay sixth one article 360 that is the b is the answer seventh one president is the answer yes the next one second one roman letter 2 the first one is first one is sorry children fill in the blanks money bill money bill next one prime minister the prime minister the prime minister third one the vice president spelling everything you can check this and then write it the vice president third one fourth one attorney general attorney general fifth one 65 years 65 years then sixth one supreme court supreme court seventh one 34 judges 34 judges next one choose the correct statement answer first one d option d is the correct answer option d is the correct answer second one answer a a is the correct answer a part is the correct answer the next one match the following by checking this you can mark it executive power of the president number 1 article 63 office of the vice president office of the vice president third one article 356 internal emergency fourth one article 76 office of the attorney general 
ஃபிஃப்த் ஒன் ஆர்டிக்கிள் த்ரீ ஃபிஃப்டி டூ தட் இஸ் த ஸ்டேட் எமர்ஜென்சி ஸ்டேட் எமர்ஜென்சி தட் சால் சில்ட்ரன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் பேஜ் நம்பர்ஸ் எவ்ரி திங் யூ கேன் மார்க்கெட் பேஜ் நம்பர்ஸ் எவ்ரி திங் யூ கேன் மார்க்கெட் சில்ட்ரன் பேஜ் நம்பர்ஸ் எவ்ரி திங் பை செக்கிங் மை வீடியோ யூ கேன் மார்க்கெட் ரோமன் லெட்டர் ஃபைவ் திஸ் ஒன் டூ மார்க் ஆன்சர் then essay page number you can note down essay page number you can note down then fourth question you can note down then children we can mark we can mark the question answers children you can take the page number 249 249 page wise we can mark children page wise we can mark election of the president para election of the president para page number 249 so two mark we are marking two mark we are marking children the first question the president is elected by an electoral college election of the president para first para first line onwards till till eighth line puducherry puducherry 51 then the same page you can check it page number 249 powers of the president executive power full 61 executive power full 61 then next page take it judicial power judicial power full 61 page wise we are marking children not question wise page wise we are marking judicial power full 61 so judicial power as well as executive power only they are asking under the 61 okay yes the next one next one page number 252 take it categories of ministers para full 52 categories of ministers para full 52 page number 253 take it money bill para do you know call a money bill full 54 54 then again 252 page number 252 check it duties and functions of the prime minister para full 63 till sark nations 63 next one 254 take it 254 powers and functions of the parliament full 3 points 64 64 powers and functions of the parliament 64 then page number 255 take it page number 255 <coughs> the top one for para is there now for attorney general second line he you strike out he instead of he you have to write attorney general of india attorney general of india like that write it attorney general spelling in the it is nearby only general of india like that you can write it attorney general of india has the right till the para end 56 Roman letter Roman letter 5 6th answer okay the same page 255 original jurisdiction para <coughs> original jurisdiction para full there you know three uh, powers only they were asking that's what you know till advisory jurisdiction you can mark any three jurisdiction only so but you should not select uh, small paras and all. first three para mark it 62 again the same page 255 255 qualification of supreme court judge like that one para is there now qualification of supreme court judge he must be a citizen of india yes so that one 53 53 till distinguished jurist till distinguished jurist four points okay yes this much only children
ஐ திங்க் ஐ மேட் யூ டு மார்க் எவ்ரி திங் எஸ் லிஸ்ட் அவுட் யா ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் ஆன்சர்ஸ் வெதர் வி மார்க் ஆர் நாட் பேஜ் பேஜ் நம்பர் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபைவ் 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 டூ ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபைவ் பேஜ் நம்பர் வாட் இஸ் த கொஸ்டின் லிஸ்ட் அவுட் எனி டூ ஸ்பெஷல் பவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த அட்டார்னி ஜெனரல் ஆஃப் இந்தியா yeah sorry five six like that i told now that is five five answer five six like that i said to now children that is the five five answer okay yes five five answer okay ma find out the time and then learn okay exams are very closer okay is yes, uh, you know if you have any doubt in the during the time of the interaction session also you can ask children okay yes so find out the time and then learn Okay children thank you